These are all real, by the way. I think the thing um, perhaps, perhaps most, most notable is if you look at the difference between the last time we showed Optimus, and, and this is a video that was taken basically yesterday, um, and the Optimus team was up all night uh, making this video. Um, the Optimus team has done an incredible job. Um, so just, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, the, 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 the motors controllers, um, the electronics, um, and, and everything you see in the Optimus robot is a Tesla-designed uh, system. So this is, we, we, we actually tried to find um, drive uh, actuators and, and whatnot that, that were off the shelf. We, we, we found that there, there weren't any. Um, in order to make um, an, an, an effective uh, humanoid robot, you actually have to design um, the motors and gearboxes and the, and the electronics from scratch because it's a very different application from anything else that exists. Um, so we took our world-class uh, motor and power electronics team and, uh, and, say, uh, and, and said, okay, we, we, we need to design uh, several um, uh, actuators that, are, that don't exist in the world. Um, and they did. So Optimus is, is, is working quite well. And then for uh, full self-driving, as full self-driving gets uh, closer and closer to generalized real-world AI, that same uh, software is transferable to uh, a humanoid robot. Um, just like, um, you, know, uh, we, you know, humans can obviously walk around with their arms and legs, uh, but, but we can drive a car, fly a plane, uh, steer a boat, uh, ride a horse. Um, if you have a generalized understanding, or, or if you have generalized real-world AI, which is what we are developing for full self-driving, um, it can be transferred to basically anything. Um, and um, so, so Optimus will use the same uh, FSE computer as the, as the car. Um, and um, the, the Optimus stuff is, is um, I think, somewhat, not somewhat, extremely underrated. People, people, the, the, because they, people just cannot comprehend the, the, the consequences. Now, obviously, we need to make sure that we don't have a Terminator scenario. That's very important. Uh, it's all fun and games until Terminator shows up. Um, but uh, if you say, like, if you have had a, a generalized um, humanoid robot, uh, what would be the effective ratio of humanoid robots to humans? Because I think basically everyone would want one. And, and maybe people would want more than one, which means the actual demand for, for something like Optimus, if it really works, um, which it will, uh, is, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, 10 billion units? It's, it's, it's some crazy number. Um, it might be 20 billion units. If, if the ratio is, say, two to one on people, but, you know, to humanoid robots versus people, it, it, it might actually be, it, the, the, it's, not, it's some very big number is what I'm saying. Um, and a, a number vastly in excess of the number of cars. Um, so my prediction is that uh, Tesla's long-term value uh, will be, a majority of the long-term value will be Optimus. Um, and, and that prediction I'm very confident of. So anyway. <laughs>